Okay, AP Chem, today I'm going to add one more thing to limiting reactants and also introduce percent yield. So we talked about the fact that if you have a balanced chemical equation, the coefficient could mean in this particular chemical reaction that four moles of NH3 plus five moles of O2 yields four moles of NO plus six moles of H2O. That is four moles of ammonia plus five moles of oxygen give four moles of nitrogen monoxide and six moles of water. The other thing it could mean is either <clears throat> molecules, atoms, formula units, so on and so forth. So we can still use a BCA chart. We talked before how BCA charts have to be moles, but they could also be molecules, atoms, formula units, or ions. So let's do a BCA chart for this problem. If a container were to have 10 molecules of NH3 and 10 molecules of O2 initially, how many total mo molecules of reactants plus products would be present in the container after this reaction goes to completion? All right, let's go to it. So 10 molecules of NH3 first. and 10 molecules of O2, and zero for the products. <clears throat> so it's going to be a reaction ratio, or a mole ratio, or in this case, a molecule ratio of 4 to 5. We're going to consume some reactants and produce some products. So you can see that we have the same amount of ammonia and this uh, O2. We actually need more O2, though. Because we need more O2 and we don't have more O2, I know that O2 is going to be the limiting reactant. O2 is going to be the limiting reactant and it's going to run out, and we'll have some NH3 left. So simple algebra, and we'll solve for X, and it's going to be 2. So the amount of NH3 is going to be 10 minus 4 times 2, so 10 minus Eight, and we'll have two molecules of NH3 left. We're going to produce 0 plus 4x or 0 plus 4 times 2 for eight molecules of NO and 6 times 2 or 12 molecules of H2O. <clears throat> so how much is going to be present? Well, we're going to have two molecules of NH3 left over. We're going to have eight molecules of NO produced, and we're going to have six I mean, uh, 12 molecules of H2O produced. So if you notice, it is not conserved. So we start with 9 moles and we produce 10 moles if we're talking about moles to moles. Same thing with molecules. We um have left over, we start with 20 and we have left over 22. That's perfectly acceptable. The only thing you have to consider is the fact that when we began, we had 10 molecules of NH3, that's 10 atoms of nitrogen. And at the end, we have two plus eight, 10 atoms of nitrogen. We started with <clears throat> 10 times three, 30 atoms of hydrogen, and we ended with 
six plus 24, 30 atoms of hydrogen. Oxygen, we started with 20 atoms of oxygen in the 10 molecules of O2, and we ended with eight plus 12 or 20 atoms of oxygen. That's what has to be conserved. So we started with 20 molecules, and what's going to be left over afterwards is two molecules of NH3, no molecules of O2, eight molecules of nitrogen monoxide, and 12 molecules of H2O for a total of 22 molecules. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to add in percent yield. What if they did a reaction and they said, I added 10 molecules of NH3 and 10 molecules of O2 and actually produced 10 molecules of water? We're going to talk about percent yield. Oftentimes, we don't produce everything that we thought we were going to produce. Whenever you're doing a BCA chart, this whole thing is just figuring out how much we should produce. How much we should produce is called the theoretical yield. Anytime you're putting numbers on paper, it's always theoretical yield. So the percent yield is going to be the actual yield over the theoretical yield, which is what comes from your BCA chart. And we'll turn it into a percent by multiplying by 100. So remember I said that the reaction actually produced, that's the action word, produced. You might say it yielded, it produced, was recovered. That's either going to be given to you in your problem or it's going to come from your experimental data. So that actual number is not a calculation. It's what was actually produced. And I said we produce 10 molecules of H2O. We should have, theoretically, from the stoichiometry numbers, produced 12 molecules of H2O. So we didn't get as much as we should have. And we turn it into a percent by multiplying by 100. Oftentimes, you don't get what you should have because the world is not a perfect place. So... Your calculator tells you 83.333 on and on percent. <clears throat> and we're going to talk about significant figures really well, uh, really quickly also. The thing is about with significant figures, when you're counting stuff like 10 molecules, it's actually considered to be an exact number. So significant figures in an exact number are considered to be unlimited. So significant figures is probably not a concept that you would apply here. That's just a simple, quick introduction to percent yield. We'll go on and do some more problems at a later date.